Hello you guys, and welcome to your 7th Diahero.net Blender tutorial. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do 2D images. We're going to import them and then we're going to learn how to make them 3D. And I know some of you guys might be thinking right now, Rob, we've already done that. Well, the specific 2D images that we're importing in today's lesson, they're going to be pictures. And so I'm going to show you how to actually import any picture you want, whether it's you on Facebook or somebody else. We're going to show you how to import that and then how to make that image three-dimensional. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to enable the add-on. And to enable the add-on, we're going to go up here, or click any of these. But I'm just going to click here. And I'm going to go into User Preferences. And as you can see, there's a lot of menus here. But I want to make this full screen. And in order to do that, in order to make any window you want full screen, all you have to do is click on the window and press shift space. And to get out of it, press shift space again. Or click back to previous. But moving on, let's enlarge this. Oops, I don't know what I turned on there. But don't pay attention to that. I want you guys to go into add-ons and then I want you to look at this. These are all the different add-ons the Blender has at the moment. They add them all the time, but as you can see, none of these are enabled. So what we want to do is we want to click Disabled. And then we want to click Import Images as Planes, which is right here. And we want to click that. And Let's just check if we did it right. Let's go back to Enabled, and as you can see, this is Enabled. And you guys, if you can't find it here, you just want to make it click. What I sometimes do is I just click on all of them. Well, all of them except for the ones with the excla exclamation marks. Because the ones with the exclamation marks, that means that they might not be compatible with some of the others. So I just stay clear from there. There's a lot of cool features with these add-ons that it, they should just be enabled by default, but Blender has to make things hard sometimes. But since we enabled images as planes, let's go back to previous and let's do just that. Go into info, and info is simply it's these menus with the open, new, quit. But what we want to go into is file, import images as planes. Click that. Okay, now open up any picture you want. Um, I downloaded the, the first picture of Barack Obama on Wikipedia because I didn't want to spend the time looking for everything. But let's click that and let's import this as a plane. Okay? And let's adjust it. Let's make it face the camera. And you guys already know what a camera is of course but let's go into textured just so we can see it ooh there he is alright now go press 0 on the far right hand side and get it in frame and now we just want to render image and what all render image means is it just renders this frame and there's many frames in the animation we haven't even made an animation yet so we don't have to worry about that. But let's go into that, render image, or press F12. And, uh-oh, what's this? Why is he dark all of a sudden? Why can't we see the whole image? Well, exit out of this. Press escape. And delete this. And you know why we're deleting it? It's not because we don't like Barack Obama. It's because we did not import him with the right settings on. So, I want you to do the same thing that we did last time. Insert images as planes, 
and I want you to insert whatever image you're using and before you click import images as planes I want you to go to the left hand side of this and I want you to click shadeless and all shadeless is is it just means it's not gonna take any light values it's not gonna be aware of any environmental lighting it's just gonna make the picture appear as it is and so let's go into camera mode again and let's make him just right in the center and let's press F12 to render the image okay here he is there's our president and as you can see it looks exactly as the picture does okay but let's get out of here for a second oops let's get out of here press the escape and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna turn this 2D image into excuse me we're gonna turn this three dimensions we're gonna turn this into three dimensions sorry my microphone got screwed up I'm all discombobulated right now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into edit mode and that's at the bottom of 3D view edit mode or you can just press tab and you got it so let's go into tools and tools all you do to get those is you press T see and what you want to go into is mesh tools add subdivide and we went over subdivision in a different lesson a while back but if you don't remember it all you do is you just go into tools and then you subdivide but let's subdivide it a couple times uh, depending on your processing power you may want to do more or less depending on whatever your computer can handle but in this case let's make it you know fairly fairly detailed actually in my case my computers my computer is pretty good I'd say so I'm gonna subdivide it a lot more okay and so to make this image 3D we're gonna wanna go into sculpt mode and as you can see I think one of the add-ons actually added all these tools in but in case you don't have that just click on any tool in there doesn't matter go into tool and then go into the grab tool right here and this is the same thing as the other tools all you do is press T T to open and close it and what I want you to do is I want you to grab the image and make it three dimensions already okay this is gonna be insulting probably to a lot of people because we have to do this in a short amount of time so this is gonna look a little deformed you guys I just want you to get the point but sorry Mr. Obama we wanna make this by grabbing there's a lot of tools in here I like grab just to start off because it's easier to manipulate and see this is what happens when you get too many subdivisions it's a, is it becomes a little unwieldy but let's make it out like this actually I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna subdivide it a little less just so I have a little more control over it and then later if you want to subdivide, subdivide it more that's the route you want to go into because it's easier once you get the face in the general position that you want it to subdivide rather than subdivide it too many times in the first place but as you can see this is a little bit easier to control okay and I know I'm mangling the president I'm sorry Democrats but you gotta sacrifice some things in the name of 3D okay well I think you guys get the point and so right now what we're gonna do well actually let's save this for the next lesson in the next lesson I'm gonna go over how to render this into an actual video that you can play back for all your friends family and how to do that in blender and so far we haven't gone over that we've went over how to manipulate how to animate how to insert keyframes and all that and the shape keys but we haven't went over how to actually make a working video 
So we're going to go over that next lesson. And you guys keep this image, or whatever image you have up here, because we're going to use it in the next lesson too. But I'd like to thank everybody for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to go to diahero.net. And for those who have difficulty spelling, I can symp sympathize. And so I will just spell it out. Actually, actually I will do it. Here we go. dieahero.net I just wasted 50 seconds doing that but go to it I have got a lot more stuff up there and until next time you guys thanks for watching this is Rob from diehero.net and I hope you guys have a great day